Hi, my name is Michael Atman, founder of Iconesis. Did you know that 90% of professional quality photography comes down to the correct lighting environment? Well, our partners at SimQ have set out to solve this issue for you with a line of consistent controlled lighting studios that allow users, regardless of experience, to create high quality images. Today, we'll be doing a demonstration of the Shutterstream product photography software in the SimQ L Photography Studio. Let's get started. Simply connect our camera through USB to our computer and power on the SimQ Studio. Our first step while inside the software will be to enable our live view. The live view is a real-time preview of what your camera sees. As you can see my hand going back and forth in front of the monitor screen. Nice thing about the live view is you can see exactly how your stuff is going to look before capturing while looking on your monitor screen. And a cool feature about this live view is while in live view you can adjust all your camera settings to optimize for your lighting environment. As you can see we look quite dark on our screen here. So what we'll start to do is adjust our camera settings to optimize these for the SimpQL Studio. Now we can provide you the exact settings based on your studio. And the nice thing about this is when you've optimized your camera settings, you can hit the save button. You can hit save so you could say SimpQ and it'll retain those settings every single time inside the program. So if anyone ever came up and changed your camera settings through one click, what you can do is revert back to those SimpQ settings. Our next step after placing our object is to pre-crop our subject. Now our pre-crop can be defined in a free form rectangle. However, if you require images at a perfect square for your website, you can say always crop in a perfect square or even a custom ratio. Maybe it's something like 600 by 400 images that you require and uh, you can say always crop at 6 by 4. So we'll just leave in a rectangle for now, um, but just understand that you can crop in in multiple different ratios if required. After we've pre-cropped our object, we simply go ahead and hit snap. And within a second, that's gonna capture that image and upload it to our computer. The nice thing about this is we instantly get feedback so that we can see the quality of the overall result. Overall, it looks great. Let's go on to shooting our next object. I will hit live view again. As you can see, our camera settings are retained from shot to shot. And it also remembers our crop. So every single time we shoot, we're gonna have the exact same crop Maybe it's four different images that we want to shoot for our website. And then we'll do one more. Let me just adjust this back a bit. And it looks good to go. We'll hit our snap button. So we've just captured our four images. Again, high quality results captured in just seconds. As you can see, as the images are captured, they're uploaded into our computer in the thumbnail gallery. Let me select these four images. We're gonna wanna go and output these for our website. So first thing I'll probably wanna do is go ahead and adjust my background colors. We're not quite at pure white, um, as we can inspect. If you look up here with this RGB value, number 255 would mean pure white. So what we can actually do is adjust our levels tool as you can see, I've gone ahead, once again, looking at the RGB color value, I've gone ahead and adjusted that to pure white. And this is a simple levels adjustment. Maybe I'll bring some black and color back into the photo. Now what I can do after I've made these single editing change, I can actually hit apply to all. So that my editing changes will be applied to every single image that I imported into the editing area. So we're gonna be able to see, we just made one editing change, and we can see our four images all with those editing changes applied. Our last step is to go ahead and output these. I'll use our batch saving tool. Maybe what I'd like to do is just rename my file uh, sunglasses. And it's gonna name them sequentially, dash one, dash two, dash three, dash four. You can also choose the batch resize. So if on my website I require these at 800 pixels wide, I can resize to that specific ratio. You can also choose your resolution. Uh, web resolution is 72 DPI. Last, if you needed a watermark, which is your own company logo, you can have that stamped over top. You simply upload your own logo in here and you can choose it from, from the drop down menu. We'll also choose our save to location. Maybe I'll just save these to my desktop. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. We'll go and view our four images that we just shot. Uh, so we're looking at four images, probably about one minute if I was uh, doing this quite quick. Now as we can see, 
The units are at 800 pixels wide as we had specified in our batch save tool. Looking at the results, you can see high quality images with pure white backgrounds that were captured in just seconds. Shutterstream is a great tool that's going to save your business a lot of time and effort when shooting your product images in-house.